adventurers and welcome to my next big adventure with you guys. Today we are in Branson, Missouri and I am in the one place that you have to stop when you come to Branson, hands down, Dick's Vibe and Dime. It's in the downtown Old Town area and you have to come and check it out because they have literally everything. You can find everything from pajamas to rocks and home furnishings a little bit of everything and it's a really neat cool place so let me show you a little bit more about Dick's Five and Dime. And dad has found the first thing that is so fun look at this little bunnies that's so cute but that's not the only one there's this one also and one hiding out behind this bicycle tire. You can even find your own Bob Ross talking keychain to affirm all of your decisions in life. Look at all the Bob Ross trees. Because remember guys, we, we don't make mistakes. We just make happy accidents. That's what people you need this lunchbox. Like, you, you need it. I'm trying to get it down right now. That'll get some looks and people will probably leave you alone. Need a little encouragement? Here we go. Emergency unicorn. I'm here to tell you how amazing you are. Aw, thanks. This aisle is a personal favorite. All of these right here are games. And on this side, you can find so many things to entertain yourself or your family. A game of baloney. It's like a huge thing of baloney. And that's so fun. It looks promising, guys. It's a game. It's the side effects game. Who hasn't watched one of those commercials where they list off 5,000 things that could happen just because you're trying to make yourself feel better? Good times. Good times. Glad to know that they have a sense of humor with it. Making bacon. <laughs> All of these food themed games. It's gonna make me hungry. I have to. I have to. What does this do? I don't know, but. I, I'm, I'm not sure what it's gonna do. Huh. Okay. That wasn't too bad. Okay, so my dad found this game. Can you get the ring off of these horseshoes? Like that? But he also found this one, which is the smaller version. And he can do that one too. The thing about this seems really, really wrong. Dashboard Jesus. Enlightenment on a spring. <laughs> Rubber ducky? There are plenty. This is starting to turn into the song that Ariel sings in The Little Mermaid, Gadgets and Gizmos. I've got many. It's like that. Dick's Five and Dime is definitely like that. Small ones. Here's a giant one. Here's some blue whales. And here's some medium sized ones. I apologize. I'm so sorry. This is promising. Silly putty, that is a mystery. Will you get something sweet, or will you get something stinky? You don't know until you invest $2.49. It's like I told you, there's literally everything. We can knit a sweater, and we can put together a puzzle, all on the same aisle. There's no rhyme or reason. And the end cap has these awesome socks. Some of these are actually really cute. You want to play tricks some people? Yep, you can get all these funny things here too. Little first aid kit. Oh, huh. handy. Like band aids and bandages and knuckle bandages. Sunscreen packet. Kind of oh, handy. Look, these little mini lights. And if you happen to want some of these whenever you go on your camping trips, you can hang these outside of your RV. But what is this? Are these walking sticks? They are! I do personally carry a walking stick whenever I go out traveling, but a little tip, I did get it from Branson, 
but I got it from kind of up the road just a little bit. They have the store that has walking sticks on the cheap cheap and then you can come into Dick's Five and Dime and actually get the little bottom part of it. So you end up still spending less than you do most of the time on one of the hiking or walking sticks elsewhere. Marilyn, is this, is this your favorite place to shop here in Branson? It, it is? Yeah? Okay. And this is so cute. Look, it has so many moods. This is like a typical day in my life. Yeah. Now, Dick's Five and Dime did start out as a general store, so that's why you can find so many random things in here. And it's been around for a really long time, so that's just something to kind of note. There's such a variety, though. So, we're right now near medical items and uh, beauty items. And we're also across from some really interesting things. Look at this. As you turn it, the moose walks. And the jellyfish swim. Might be my favorite though. The bears run. Well, this entire aisle that we're on now has a bunch of kitchen stuff that we probably didn't know we needed, but now we do because we're here. This is the problem with dicks. You come in wanting to just browse and look for some fun things, and then you see things like these little dogs that you never knew you needed, and you're like, oh, I can adopt you and take you home. Like this, this little bunny. Did I need a bunny creamer thing? No, not at all. Do I now want it? Yes, yes I do. And look, everything here is so pint sized and cute and so affordable. More fun things for the kitchen here. Making me really wanna go bake a cake. So these are kind of funny. You put these on your chips to make it look like they're sealed. But as you can see over here, this is not cool. You clip a roach to stuff. That's disgusting. Ew. I've never seen this before. This is the angry mama. Typically you don't want your mom to be angry, but I guess you do want this one because it cleans your microwave. And these could make dish doing kind of fun. Look guys, how could you not want to do dishes with a little whale? And if you need a cookie cutter for a special occasion, they probably have it here. Look at this. We have a Texas Longhorn. We have a guy playing baseball. There's a heart for Valentine's and a spicy chili pepper next to a tractor. They even have things for the dogs. Another rubber chicken. <laughs> Look at all of these mugs with the dogs on them. Spanky has to be in here somewhere. There! There he is! Look at this! This is the Schnauzer mug. But they have all the others too, if you have a dog. These are insane. They're so big. I remember when these were all the rage. Although, I haven't seen them in quite some time. These are curly shoelaces. so anticlimactic. Hmm. I expected more of you, Bigfoot. Are you a yes man? Yeah. Well, yes. Give me a Y. Give me an E. Give me an F. Yeah. Maybe I should just walk around giving myself a round of applause. This one, on the other hand, it's not even labeled with what it's going to do, so I can only imagine. Here we go. Nothing. Nothing. Okay, it's, it's probably for the best, guys. These are fun traveling books. This one right here could be something that would be worth considering. Some great ways to keep up with the places that you've been and what you thought about that place. Of course, I already do reviews over on the dirt, so I kind yeah. of already do that, just I don't have a book form of it. So that's kind of a way I could keep it in book form until I could do those reviews. Sticky notes with ramen, ramen doodles. Don't, don't know what that's about. Looks interesting though. And uh, there's a fortune cookie to close out our meal of adventuring. If you're trying to save money to yeah. buy a John Deere, why not do it with a John Deere bank? with this fat cow. Nobody's messing with these gnomes anytime soon. 
laugh. Now this is a sock that'll make you laugh. The Second Amendment, the right to bear arms. Rawr. This is cute. Be sweet, stand tall, always wear your crown. Yep, pretty much. And this has to be one of my favorite cups I've found so far. This is so cute. And this definitely fits my aesthetic of camping. But it is ceramic, so I don't know if it'd be durable enough for me. These are kind of fun little ornaments for the photographers in your world. These are kind of unique and I haven't found these anywhere else. They also have some other cute ornaments on this area. Equestrian friends. Even ER nurses. This might be a good place to come and say thank you for all of those essential workers. Just like other stores, they do have a sale aisle. So even though the prices are pretty good anyway, you can come down this aisle and find all sorts of stuff that is much less expensive. Like this ring holder or this, whatever this is. Gadgets and gizmos, plenty. And in this section, we can feel a little bit more like Christmas. We can personalize each and every one of these. That's like a little spanky right there. This one would be so cute. If we were to get it, we could put his little name on it, hang it on the tree. When it gets cooler, then it's Christmas again. As we come into this section, I found Yoda. Little baby Yoda. Precious cargo. Isn't he cute? Now this was always my Yoda, but I'm starting to turn over to the cuteness overload that is baby Yoda. Wonder Woman comes in many shapes and sizes. A cookie jar or this. Slightly different face though. She kind of looks more angry. And quite a nice Funko Pop collection here. There we go. There's several in here. Which house are you in Harry Potter? I told you they had everything. You can select your house and get everything from a battery bank to a goblet, a Funko Pop, and socks in Harry Potter. It's just a lot. And no Branson store would be complete without lots of themed Branson stuff. So you can pick up everything from these mugs to these fanny packs and bags. And if you were still in question about Dick's Five and Dime, they even have their own merch that people come and collect. Yeah, it's a legit stop. It's not just us going shopping. This is an iconic part of Branson. So I came, I shopped, I conquered Dick's Five and Dime. Now this right here, guys, is something that I've always seen, but I've never really appreciated. These are rabbit's foots rabbit's feet but um they used to have these at the skating rink that i would go to when i was little and i didn't understand the process of this and i still don't understand the obsession with them it's supposed to be lucky but it certainly wasn't lucky to the rabbit of course me being bunny with bunny plays here i won't be picking up a bunny foot that's just really really bizarre more fun socks. These are my road trip socks. And as always, today is a good day because we're adventuring. Now I am conflicted as an outdoor person. I like the outdoors, but I don't like things that depict hunting because I'm not a hunter. I just like to be outside. I don't like to be violent outside. So this section appeals to me and repulses me at the same time. See, this is cute, but it's a little too much for me. But I think it's cute. Now this is me usually on a given day, barely awake before coffee. But again, this isn't one I could take with me because it's ceramic. I would break this. This will be a at the house thing. Now this is more my speed over here. This is more like camping and getting outside and enjoying the fun of travel. I don't have an RV, but I kind of identify with these also. Now this, this is, this is perfect. This is me right here. Yeah. Like sands through the hourglass, these are the days of our lives. Maybe that was a little dramatic, but you know, it reminded me of that. John Wayne, so is this one of those places that people need to stop? 
Yeah, yeah, it is. Look at this. Kiss Cola, Marilyn Monroe, Wild Cherry and Lemonade, Spaghetti Soda, Fungal Fruit, Toxic Slime, Unicorn Yak, Worm Ooze. What is this? And Dad just found pickle flavored soda. I will say I do like pickle juice, so that could be tasty. Who knows? We actually had some of these before. They weren't bad. But as we get down here, look. Richie Valens, Gene Autry. Yeah. Then we get into some standard barks. And then chocolate soda. Next to something called radioactive. Probably be avoiding that one. And this might be a hard pass also. I kind of like to eat my wings, not drink them. Okay, I'm a little confused. There is a giant gummy turkey leg next to a gummy pickle. And then there is a gummy Coke bottle. And also gummy fries, burgers, and tacos. By the way, it gets better, guys. We have a box of boogers next to chocolate dipped insects and this game of evil madness. I played this, it was horrible. It was absolutely awesome. And I don't know how to describe both horrible and awesome together. It was weird. These are also edible and yeah, I, I would never, ever, ever, ever buy these suckers, ever. Feeling like a jawbreaker? These might just do the trick. So this is about the size of one of these jawbreakers right here. And this is basically one of them, but it has a stick to make it a little easier. I can only imagine it's also grosser because this stick probably starts to deteriorate. But then there's this, the Mega Bruiser. Humongous jawbreaker. This is bigger than my hand and it weighs so much. It weighs a whole pound. That's insane. And while we're in the candy, why not pick up some candy sushi? That just sounds appealing. Actually, I'd probably like some of this a little bit more than I like the raw fish that goes with it in real life. Candy noodles. Dad found candy noodles right next to it. That looks interesting. And if you're not feeling hungry enough to eat the big one, they have a mini gummy sushi. Hmm. And I'm not sure why anybody would want to eat their pet rat, but if you do have this feeling, there's a gummy version. Ugh. Well guys, I'm glad you came along with me to Dick's Five and Dime, a place you have to stop whenever you're in Branson. And I think I might pick this shirt up. I survived the Dick's Five and Dime experience. I've got a few things to get, so I'll see you next time, guys, on our next adventure. I hope you've had a good one, and if you did, make sure that you hit the like button, make sure you subscribe, and follow the interactive map below for all of the adventures that we are going on. Bye, guys! Now, even the packaging at Dick's is awesome. Look at this, guys. This shows the seven wonders of Branson right here on the bag. It's the little things that make Dick's awesome. That's pretty cool.